Hey, hey, what's up, fellas and lassies? Welcome back to a new episode of Sephiroth and Cyphers channel. Yay! Today we have a Styracosaurus. What we have here is a Dino Escape. And this one is a from Costco. We got in Costco, came with other dinosaurs back then. And this is, I believe, a primal attack? Styracosaurus? And this is, I'm sure it's like a Dino Escape or Camp Cretaceous. I don't even remember anymore. But anyways, I have one more of these. So this, I decided to paint a brown, give it a brown over there. So there's like a distinction, a little brown over there. Yep. And I only have one of these because it's really rare now. You can't find this anymore. They're really expensive at eBay. This one as well. You can maybe find this on eBay or whatever. There you go, Styracosaurus. It means spike lizard from the ancient Greek. Spike at the butt end of a spear shaft, it says. <laughs> but anyways, we have, like I said, the next episode will be a beast of the Mesozoic. So here we go. It is the reissue. Styracosaurus Alberti, Albertitensis. Albertensis. It's from the Ceratopsian series. It is a brand new packaging. It's not the green anymore. It doesn't have that um, other box here anymore. So right here, brand new, still sealed. Check the box. All right. I'm still thinking, of debating if I'm gonna get old box Styracosaurus, Torosaurus, maybe. This other packy Rhinosaurus, I don't know. They're just too pricey. Medusa Ceratops, maybe if Mattel makes one, I'll get this one as well. Baby Diablo Ceratops, maybe I will get this because we already have Diablo Ceratops from Beasts of the Mesozoic and Mattel. <clears throat> so right here, it says the famously known for six frill spikes and long nose horn. Styracosaurus is one of the most recognizable of all the Ceratopsians. Despite its iconic look, similarities to Centrosaurus have caused debate in the past over which specimens belong to each species. Okay, so here's the dinosaur stats. It lived back in the late Cretaceous. So it's the features as 12 inch long action figure. It has 20 points of articulation. All right, so let's check it out. Let's open it up. All right, and let's compare to its variants here. All right, guys, too excited. All right, while I'm opening this, I'd like to say thank you again for not forgetting to click the like and subscribe button. Oh man, I don't wanna damage this box, it's so nice. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, there's our card. Super cool. All right. Look at the size of this guy. It's so awesome. Let's open it up. Nice color. It is gorgeous. Let's take the tail out. That's... All right. There goes the head. Oh no. Oh wow. The wires are really hard in this. Oh gosh. Oh, come on. One more? Alright, now. Okay. Let's put the box there. Alright, let's put So these are all ball joints. Don't be afraid to um Put all the way, there you go, it went in right away. No need for a blower. So you move that, it moves. There you go. You can stretch it, you can make posts in it. It has very good articulation. Let's check the mouth. Oh, all right, it opens up. Nice horn right there. Let's check the face. Look at its frill over there. It has a nice feel when you touch it. Very good work from David Silva. Nice color. I'm so glad I bought this again. Because it is a reissue, they didn't make it anymore, but I'm glad they're gonna bring back the Chasmosaurus and the Zuni Ceratops. It's ready for pre order. So if you go to Beast of the Mesozoic site, it's right there, ready to go. So you can make it sit like that. <laughs> Look at that. Looks like a baby dinosaur. But I'm pretty sure it, when it rests, it, it does this. You just push it like that. There we go. 
Yeah. But for now, let's let him stand. Very good. Very nice. It is worth the price. This is like $45, I believe, plus shipping. They don't have this on Amazon, I guess, I believe. I mean, if you go to... Well, all they have is like the older ones, but the newer ones, it's still on their site. They don't have free shipping there, but they have like discounts there. If you... Or they have like the bonus thing. That's how they do it there. All right, so let's compare it now to Costco's Styracosaurus. All right, very nice. Beast of the Mesozoic is way bigger. Let's compare the face. Look at that. See that? Now let's go to Mattel. There's no need to grab the other one because it's the same model. Mattel is definitely smaller now. Now let's check the skull. I mean, the, the frill. Their bone helm. That's what they call. So they do have. Beast of Nozoic has a narrower face again. They did it right. There's like the horns over here. They have it here as well. Right there. But of course, Beast of the Mesozoic has better paint job here. Very, very nice. There you go. All right. All right, all right. All right, guys. You guys have a safe um, week. Safe week there. Thanks again. Don't forget to click a like and subscribe button. I'll see you again, guys. I'm planning to buy the new... Um, I, my, my next piece of the Mesozoic could be the... Rega I believe the Pentaceratops and the Regaliceratops. That's what I'm planning to buy. But for now, that's it for today. Thank you again, guys. You guys have a great day. Bye now.